collection of soil sample from an orchard. We are taking the help of the screw over here. In orchard, we have to take the sample from 1 meter depth. So, in the auger, you have to mark 3 position at 1 feet, 2 feet and 3 feet respectively. And here the tips number 1. If you have a straight rod, then place the rod inside the auger so that you can increase the couple arm in which you can apply the force and it will be really easy to turn the auger and insert it inside the soil. Let's start sampling. It is really easy to go up to the depth of 1 feet because the soil is loose and once you get to the depth of the 1 feet then put up the auger and collect the sample into the sampling tray. Here is the tips number 2. When you are taking the sample, if you go all the way deep to the 2 feet, then you cannot pull up the auger. So, at the middle, you should pull up the auger and remove the swell that is not sampled from the auger in outside. Now, insert the auger into the swell up to the 2 feet and collect this sample from that depth and if you want to analyze the sample of the two feet separately then you can collect the sample in another tray but in our case we are taking the sample in all one tray so we place the soil a sample of one feet two feet and three feet in the same tray while pulling the auger if you come toward the center and apply the force at the center of the auger then it will be easier to pull it outside the swell and otherwise it will be too hard if you just pull the auger from this side the hardest part of the swell sampling to dig the auger insert the auger up to the 3 feet depth and trust me guys it's really difficult and sometimes there comes just appears a rock or other obstacle that doesn't allow the auger to insert up to the 3 feet depth if such situation arise then you can just Dig, uh, take out the auger and dig at the next place just nearby and go up to the 3 feet depth but once you get up to the depth of the 3 feet then just pull up the auger and uh, place the soil into the sampling tray similarly if you are taking the sample separately then place it into the another tray otherwise uh, make a composite sample in a same tray Remove all kind of debris present in the sample such as stone, roots, plastic, paper that may contaminate the sample. Another important step in sampling is removal of the excess soil from the sample. For this we should first divide the sample into four quadrants and we remove the soil of the opposite two quadrants as a crisscross method. Make the sample as clean as possible by removing any kinds of foreign material that may contaminate the sample. Again repeat the same process of dividing the soil into 4 quadrants and removing the soil of the opposite 2 quadrants. Now remember that this time we have removing the other opposite 2 in than the earlier one. It will make the unbiased sample. Criss cross method should be followed unless we get the final sample of a half kg which is only taken to the lab. Place the sample inside the plastic bag and give it a sample ID. Now collect the information from the farmer about the orchard and the trees according to the sample ID. Take a glance of the information that uh, you should collect um, while getting the info about the orchard. Thanks for watching the video guys and if you really find it helpful then please subscribe for the channel and hit the like button. Thank you.